Finding the area between two curves means coming up with an expression for a little bit of something and then adding the bits by integrating. For this type of problem, the little bit is a narrow rectangle that sits on one curve and goes up to another. Give it a try. Find the area between y equals 2 minus x squared and y equals 1 half x, from x equals 0 to x equals 1. To get the height of the representative rectangle, subtract the y-coordinate of its bottom from the y-coordinate of its top. That's 2 minus x squared minus 1 half x. Its base is the infinitesimal dx. Area equals height times base, so the area of the representative rectangle equals this. Remember, the height of a representative rectangle is always its top minus its bottom. It doesn't matter if these numbers are positive or negative. For instance, a rectangle that goes from 20 up to 30 has a height of 10. A rectangle that goes from negative 3 up to 8 has a height of 8 minus negative 3, or 11. And a rectangle that goes from negative 15 up to negative 10 has a height of negative 10 minus negative 15, or 5. Now, add the areas of all the rectangles from 0 to 1 by integrating. Remember to use the power rule which says to add 1 to the exponent, then divide by the new exponent. So in this case, to use the power rule for all three pieces of 2 minus x squared minus 1 half times x times dx, you actually look at it as 2x to the 0 power minus x squared minus 1 half times x to the first power. Then use the power rule. 2x to the 0 power becomes 2 times x to the 0 plus 1 power over 1, equals 2 times x to the first power over 1 equals 2x. x squared becomes x to the 2 plus 1 power over 3 equals x to the third power over 3 equals 1 over 3 times x to the third power. 1 half x to the first power becomes 1 half times x to the 1 plus 1 power over 2 equals 1 half times x squared over 2 equals 1 half times 1 half x squared equals 1 fourth x squared. So here, the answer is 17 twelfths square units. In this problem, the curves cross. When this happens, you have to divide the total shaded area into separate regions before integrating. Find the area between y equals the third root of x and y equals x to the third power from x equals 0 to x equals 2. First, determine where the curves cross. They cross at 1, 1, so there are two separate regions, one from 0 to 1 and another from 1 to 2. Next, figure the area of the region on the left. For this region, y equals the third root of x is above y equals x cubed. The height of a representative rectangle is the third root of x minus x to the third power. Its area is height times base, or the third root of x minus x squared times dx, and the area of the region is one half. Now, figure the area of the region on the right. Now, y equals x to the third power is above y equals the third root of x. So the height of a rectangle is x to the third power minus the third root of x, and now you've got this. Finally, add the areas of the two regions to get the total area. In this case, it's 3.11 square units. Follow these easy steps and you'll have the area in no time.